provide us an update on the legislation you've sponsored. Well, the most recent is House Bill 1902, pass the House unanimously, which is a lifetime trailer registration. It allows you to buy tabs for your trailer once for a lifetime, and quite frankly, you don't have to buy them again. As long as you hold the trailer and you own the trailer, the tabs go with it. You don't have to buy license ever again, buy new plates, anything like that. A great convenience bill. And it does provide convenience for owners of trailers. They don't use that often specifically. You have oh, horse trailers, bike trailers, snowmobile trailers, utility trailers, this kind of thing. They're just seasonal use. It's kind of a, a great resource to have here. And, and people would tend to actually buy licenses for their trailers rather than, than just say, I'm going to use it twice a year and I'm going to uh, make a bonsai run and, and try and make without a license. So it's a benefit both to the owner of the trailers and to the state. The governor recently suspended the death penalty for those on death row. What do you think about this? Well, it really seems political to me. Quite frankly, I'm not sure why he'd come out with this when we're right in the middle of a session and we're supposed to be making supplemental changes to the budget and, and do what we can to address job opportunities in our state and things of this nature. Besides, I really can't imagine how the families of the victims must feel. Many of them said publicly they're extremely frustrated, their loved ones, perpetrators, have gotten this kind of break even after they've been convicted. It just, it's not right. What legislation have you supported to help bring more job opportunities to Washington? That's really a focal point of the whole session here. The House just passed a bill I voted for to help improve permitting time in our state, something that could dramatically increase the amount of work available and reduce costs for everyone as projects will have less delays. That was really a good thing. But there are several other proposals too, dealing with private independent contractors, or prevailing wage issues, reforming government agencies to be more business friendly. However, all these proposals are considered dead here in the House. They didn't quite make a pass vote. How do you keep track of the hundreds of bills you vote on in the House? <laughs> it's amazing. The volume is like drinking out of a fire hose. Uh, big thing I do is I listen to constituents. The constituent contacts seem to, to wax and wane when the bills actually are ripe, or about to come to the floor for a vote. Uh, and so I actually know what to look for by the contacts from the constituents, please keep them coming. And local officials contact me about those issues that affect local government. And quite frankly, we go through them in caucus, which is very helpful, because a lot of the bills, the committees I serve on, don't actually see, we don't have a chance to review. So everybody gets a chance to chip in and, and, and brief each other on this issue. There's lists of bills that can come up for a vote, and the caucus helps me keep track of what bill we're on and, and how I'm going to vote, so I can make checks on a list and go through and figure out exactly where I want to be before the vote comes to the floor, because quite frankly, when it does, well, for example, last night, we had 96 bills, and we're on the floor until after midnight last night, uh, passing bills, uh, so we get through the, the total volume for the day. Anyway, it's a daunting task. I'm up to it. Thanks for watching my weekly video update. If you ever have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, please contact my office at the information on your screen. I also encourage you to sign up for my email updates at my website, www.representativejeffholy.com. I'm Jeff Holy, and it's an honor to serve as your state representative.